quickest way to irritate me. This is the quickest way to get on my nerves. I cannot stand when people Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron. So today I'm gonna do a My Pet Peeves video. This is a different video. I don't know if this is a video that people would do on YouTube. I've never watched any of these videos on YouTube, but I'm sure someone did this video, but I share what my unpopular opinions are. So, so I might as well share the things that bother me and irritate me and get on my nerves in life because we all have them. So before I get into this video, if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And Tell me what your pet peeves are down below. Turn on my post notifications so you know every time I post a new video. So let's get into the video. Okay, so my very first pet peeve is I can't stand slow drivers. Like nothing irritates me more when I'm driving and someone is driving so slow. Before I started driving, I always thought that I was gonna be a slow driver. Just because when I was younger, I had no desire to like drive or to get my license. And I think I was kind of like a little bit scared to like drive. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a slow driver. I'm not gonna be like a fast driver. I don't think I'm a fast driver. Cause I've been in the car with some people who are, ooh, like you fear for your life because they drive so fast. Yeah, I don't think I speed. Sometimes you might catch me and I might be zooming a little fast. I think I drive pretty much the speed limit. I just can't stand people who are driving slow and then I have to like get in the next lane and then move up and get up in front of them and then I always look in the car and I'm like yep an old person but then sometimes I'm surprised and sometimes it would be a young person I'm like why are you driving so slow because you would think younger people drive fast but no slow drivers that is the most annoying thing I can't stand it okay my second pet peeve is I can't stand people who stare at me this is probably the pet peeve that has annoyed me for the longest time since I was like a child i can't stand being stared at i think it's the most rudest most disrespectful thing to stare at someone someone who you don't know someone that you're just out minding your business you could be in class you could be at a restaurant you could be at the store at the mall anywhere it's, you just look up and someone is staring at you i can't take that like why are you staring at me like if you have something to say say it don't stare at me. I can't stand that. I think it's so rude. It's the rudest thing. If you're a person who stares at people, you need to check yourself. My third pet peeve is I can't stand people who are rude. People who are just disrespectful for no reason. People who are just mean and nasty and cruel. Especially people who are like that to people who do not deserve it. People who are just who are kind, who are nice. I can't stand people who just have like an evil spirit and like they just don't know how to n not be rude to people. People who are just unnecessarily rude. That's like the biggest turn off in someone. If I meet someone and you're like rude, I automatically don't, don't wanna have anything to do with you because that shows a lot about your character. If you're mean to someone, if you're rude to someone right off the bat, within two seconds of talking to them, you're already rude. That's like almost one of the worst character traits to ever have in life is, be, is to be a rude person. Like you really have a lot of demons and going on inside of you if you're a person who's just mean to people for no good reason. If someone's nice to a person and you're just giving them negativity and meanness and rudeness in return, you need help. You have problems that you need to get fixed because that's literally the worst thing to be mean to someone who's just nice to you, especially in the world we're living in where there is already so much going on, so many things to be sad about. And then here you are being a horrible person to someone. You need help. You need to get fixed. That's horrible. That's literally horrible. Okay, so my fourth pet peeve. This one's gonna sound weird. I know people are probably not gonna understand where I'm coming from with this one, but my fourth pet peeve is I can't stand when people ask me what's wrong. <laughs> like that almost infuriates me. Like ever since I was a child, if someone like if I, I could just be sitting there minding my business and someone will come up to me, what's wrong? Why do you have that look on your face? You look upset. You look sad wrong tell me you can tell me i can't stand that don't ask me what's wrong like there's nothing wrong and if there was something wrong i'm not gonna tell you and if i did want to tell you i would tell you so don't ask me there's nothing wrong i don't know why that bugs me so much i can't stand people asking me what's wrong because nine times out of ten there's nothing wrong and so i, I could just be sitting there you think those would be like what's wrong you seem sad i'm like no i'm just sitting here 
I, I don't know why that bugs me. I don't know why that bugs me. I, I can't stand when people ask me that. Literally the most annoying question you could ever ask me probably. I used to get asked that more when I was younger and usually about my grandmother and it irritated me. I couldn't stand it. There's nothing wrong. Like say if I don't have like a certain inflection in my tone when I'm answering a question, say if I'm talking regularly like this, it's like, what's wrong? You're sad. I'm not sad. I'm good. If I was and I wanted to talk about it, I would say it. That's my philosophy. That's why I don't ask people what's wrong. Not unless they're like visibly upset or like they're crying. Then of course, if you see Seem like off. I'm not gonna ask you what's wrong. Not if I did, you have to be like really close and it'll have to be like really noticeable. If we sit next to each other in class and you seem like you're in a bad mood, I'm not gonna ask you what's wrong. Because you may not be in a bad mood. Just because I may think you're in a bad mood doesn't mean you are. And even if you are in a bad mood, what makes me think that you wanna talk to me about it? And if you did wanna talk to me about it, you would talk to me about it. So I'm not gonna pry and try to get all up in your business and try to make you tell me what's wrong because there may not be anything wrong. My fifth pet peeve. This one people are gonna think is weird and people are gonna call me crazy, but I can't stand people who are loud or super goofy. That is the most annoying. Being rude is the most annoying personality trait, but if you're super goofy, that's up there. That's gotta be like number two. If you're a person who's like really loud and really goofy, ooh, can't be friends, I'm sorry. To me, someone who's super goofy is someone who is extremely silly. Everything's funny, everything's a joke, nothing's taken seriously. Not have a serious conversation with them because they're gonna find some way to, to make it into a joke. People who are like that, those are the people who I say are goofy. People who are just really loud, people who feel the need to be the center of attention every single place they go, people who have to be the loudest person talking in a room, people who have to have all eyes on them. Ooh. If you're friends with someone like that, comment down below and tell me how you deal with that. Cause I, I, if you're loud, you're friends with someone who's loud, then obviously. If you guys are cut from the same cloth and you can handle that. But if you're someone who's really chill, laid back like me, and you're really close friends with someone who's super goofy like that, super loud, I don't get it. Like I've, I've met people who are just so loud. Like everything, every word that comes out their mouth, the volume is just up here and I, I don't get that. Like, can you like be chill? Can you relax? Like, can you be quiet? Like not talk? It's, it's too much. I don't know how people deal with that. Like I, I especially if you're dating someone like that, especially if you're dating a guy who's like that. Ugh. Cause you would expect a girl to be like, to have like a bigger personality than the guy. But if you, if you have a guy who has like a really, really, really big personality, super goofy, super loud. Ooh, I, that's like wildly unattractive. I don't understand how girls like that. Like I, ooh, that would like irritate me on a regular basis. I don't know how y'all do that. Ooh, that's so annoying. I can't, I can't, that can't even, I don't have no words because that would just bug me. I can't do it. Okay, number six, my six pet peeve is customer service workers who are unfriendly uber driver a waiter a waitress a store clerk the receptionist at the front desk people like that who are unfriendly that irks me i found that to be so annoying i'm not like the friendliest person in the world but if i were working as a receptionist or if i was waitress you gotta perk up like be friendly smile when i went to hawaii we'll go watch my vacation go wrong story time if you haven't watched that video i went to hawaii and we, we went to the hotel and we went to the front desk to check into our hotel and the lady at the front desk her, her whole energy her whole vibe her whole mood was just super low and it was so off and granted maybe she was having a bad day maybe she got some really bad news before we walked up okay all right this is your job you're being paid to be here the people who you are serving they don't care you had a bad day they don't care what bad news you got so put a smile on your face and perk up and if it's that serious take a 15 minute break if it was that bad if it was that urgent or that major put a smile on your face even if you don't mean it even if you're irritated even if you're upset or mad and act like you want to be there don't act like you helping me with my question or you doing whatever is um, a burden or you're irritated or I don't want to be here, I don't want to do this. That's so annoying to me. Like if you're naturally not like a perky person or you're not someone who's like super friendly or super like jovial, you got to play the part a little bit when you're working in customer service because that's how you get more tips. If you're like a waiter or a waitress, I just say perk up and stop being so like, uh, oh yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like so dull, like I can't stand customer service workers who are so dull and don't have any personality. Like cheer up. Okay, number seven, my seventh pet peeve is I can't stand people who don't clean up after themselves. This one didn't become like a real thing for me until I got to college and I shared a bathroom with three other girls or just share a bathroom here with my brother. 
he's the worst but at the dorms i thought girls would be better i thought girls were cleaner but no they do not clean up after themselves they leave everything everywhere and it's not like a disgusting mess in the dorms it's pretty bad like me any mess i make i clean it up right away i do not leave it there and if i did that means i didn't know but once i realized it i cleaned up right away i do not leave messes anywhere i clean up after myself and again like i said i'm not like the absolute most cleanest mrs clean person ever to ever exist in life but i'm not messy i'm not junky i'm not a rat I'm not like a dirt bag. I clean up after myself and the girls in the dorms, they don't clean up after themselves at all. And it's like, sometimes like I'll walk into the bathroom or just anywhere and I'm like, really? You left all this stuff? What is this? You left all this stuff in the shower, in the bathroom? It's like, ugh. And my brother, don't get me started on him, but of course he's a boy. Boys are naturally not that clean, a lot of them. He does never, ever clean up after himself. He'll leave a whole box of pizza just sitting on the table instead of taking it to the trash. I just don't like gross. I don't like people who clutter, put, who just leave a whole bunch of stuff just sitting around any, everywhere for everybody to see. Just this big pile of just mess. I can't stand that. That's literally gross to me. Clean up after yourself, especially if you're sharing a space with someone else, clean up after yourself. If you're living alone if you're by yourself you can be as junky as you want to be but if you're sharing a space with someone you're sharing a bathroom with someone else clean up after yourself it's just considerate and disrespectful almost if you don't okay next my eighth pet peeve is when people ask me super personal questions like i do not like that okay i'm a pretty private person by nature if i can tell someone's trying to be nosy with me and they're trying to find out all this information that's none of their business i do not like that and i immediately will shut down i'm nosy too but i would never ask someone a super personal question not unless we're having a super personal conversation and we're exchanging information back and forth that's one thing but if we're just talking about bananas at the store and you say oh so tell me about this what why is that any of your business? I don't like when people don't know how to mind their business. Why do you care? Why do you care about something that does not affect you? That's the thing I don't get. Why do you care to know something about me that has absolutely nothing to do with you? You knowing or not knowing this information is not going to affect your life in any way, shape, or form. So why do you need to know? If you just come out the gate asking all these deep, dark questions like, ugh, cute. And it's not even, it doesn't even have to be super personal. I just don't like when people try to pry. I don't like, I just don't like nosy. Don't be nosy with me. And I understand people are just really just nosy by nature. Some people are nosy by nature and they just, they gotta know all your business. But if you really want to know, be subtle about it at least. Don't just try to do 21 questions trying to figure out all my life story all at once. Like, relax. It's not that serious. Okay, so this last one. Whew, okay, so my last pet peeve. This one's gotta be number one. This one is the most quickest way to irritate me. This is the quickest way to get on my nerves. I cannot stand when people ask me if they can copy my homework. Ugh, I cannot stand that. I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked this in my life. Middle school, high school, even now in college. It's like I can't escape it. People will always ask me if they can copy my homework. It could be homework, notes, whatever. They ask me if they can copy it. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. It's not that serious. Just let them copy. But for me, it is that serious. I sat in this class. Took time out of my day to come to this class. Took time out of my day to write these notes took time out of my day to do the homework by myself or got the answers from Google. So just like I had the time to do it, you had the time to do it. You had the time to come to class. You had the time to come to take notes. You had the time to do the homework. The thing is, is it's always people who don't know me that were who are asking me to copy stuff. It'd be different if we were good friends if you asked to copy, that's different. But the thing is, my good friends have never asked to copy homework. Every single time someone has asked me to copy homework, it's always been someone who I don't even know that one. Why do you feel comfortable asking me for favors? Someone's always asking for something. I can't stand when people ask me to copy my homework. That's the most annoying thing, quickest way to irritate me. And me, I'm the type of person I don't know how to say no. So I just go ahead and give it reluctantly. And the whole time I'm like beating myself up inside because I'm so irritated that I actually gave the person my homework because it's so irritating. And then there, it got really bad my sophomore year of college, like this girl sat behind me. She came to class every day, just like I did. But after every class, she would say, oh, can I use your nose, can I use your nose, can I see your nose, can I see your nose, can I see your nose. And then there's, there's this one time she's deliberately sat right behind me. I turned my head and I could see her head right here because she was looking over my shoulder to look at my notes so she could copy them. And I had no idea she was doing that until I turned my head and I was like, what? 
And then one day I had to put my foot down and I was like, she asked me if she can cover my nose and I was like, no, you can't. And then she never asked me ever again after that. So she learned her lesson. It just irritates me so much because I just, I feel like that when someone copies your homework or someone takes a picture of your homework, you basically did the homework for them, basically. And I just, it makes me feel like I'm being taken advantage of. And it makes me feel like I just did your homework for you and that I didn't get anything in return. It's one thing if you ask a copy and you give me $10. Okay. But no one ever offers to give you money to copy your homework. Never do that. So that's like the most irritating thing I did. So yes, those are my nine pet peeves. I can maybe do a part two to this video if I can think of some more. I know there's gotta be some more. I just gotta sit down and think of what my other pet peeves are. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure, again, to tell me what your pet peeves are down in the comments below to see if we have any similar pet peeves. And let me know if any of my pet peeves irritate or bother you too. Or you can tell me even if they don't bother you, even if you're completely fine with them, tell me that too. Make sure to share the video, turn on post notifications. Stay tuned for my next video. And I love you guys so much. You've been ready to end this video. See you guys next time. Bye.